Hello, we are back and this is our second Wine and Wine in Madrid, Spain. And we've got some interesting news for you that we're going to talk about here and a little bit of complaining, of course, which makes... The W-H-I-N-E. In Wine and Wine. Uh, first off, we didn't show you this yesterday. This is Audrey's new Madrid Swiss Army Knife, aka Wine Opener. Super cool. Tonight, we will be, for our Wine and Wine, we're kind of cheating a little bit. This is a cider something bubbly a little delicious we've been drinking up a storm today if you watch our other videos you will see uh the um, cider did not come from the refrigerated section of the store <laughs> so uh, i attempted to cool it by running it under cold water in our faucet for a while yeah and i don't know Let's if see. it actually cooled but it's definitely wet <laughs> <laughs> So we had an awesome day today, uh, really our only full day in Madrid that we're going to have unless we want to come back and spend more time here. Um, we started with the best news ever. If you've watched the, the last one in one, came. the backpack came at 11.20 a.m. So Shortly after we woke up. <laughs> yeah, so like life is good. Um, we have everything. I thought tonight I was going to have to go out and find a store, buy clothes, buy a backpack, buy all of that crap. Uh, it See, been. I'm currently struggling. Hang on, make sure I don't point this at you. And for Audrey's magic trick, she will transform this into... A turtle. Whoa. And... Ah. Ooh. Okay, Whew, it did not, like, it was still everywhere. That's, That's cool. cool. Come on. I'm an old pro here. Okay, so in Spain, they pour it like this, but... I obviously don't have the, the knack of that because... Apparently you're not an old pro. <laughs> well, maybe an old pro at opening. Um, this might take longer to drink because it's all... Oh, look. There I am, so here we go. Oh, yeah, that was yours, yeah? Yes. <laughs> I was just testing her. Um, so, what else were we gonna talk about with our wine and wine? S Wait, sorry to interrupt if you're potentially about to say something. I wanted to make it a point here that with these new wine and wines, we want to answer your questions. So leave a comment and we'll yes, check please. it. Ask a question about what we're doing, where we're going to be, if you want to see something. Travel tips, anything. Anything you want. Um, even some ridiculous questions. So I got the bag back. This is a really funny story. So I'm going through it. Laptops there. Poles were there. It looks like they didn't even mess with the poles or anything. The uh, TSA did search it. They left a little notice. But there was only one thing missing from my entire bag. And I double checked this twice before I put it out there publicly about um, what the government took from my bag, which is really weird. Yes. And guess what it was? The lube. The what? The sex lube. Yep. They took the fucking sex lube. What kind of crazy shit is that? So, I don't know, go figure. <laughs> Security thought that it wasn't safe, I guess. Ooh, this is nice. Yeah, I like it. Mm. I definitely, it's a, it's a really nice cider. So it's a Spanish cider, or Sidra, which is super popular here, super easy to drink. We had quite of a night last night, so we are, uh, you know, taking it easy today. Tomorrow we have some exciting stuff on the, uh, on the fence. We will be traveling to the Basque country. Um, yeah, we got a five hour and 50 minute uh, train ride in the morning. Mm -hmm. Uh, leaving from Madrid to Irún. Mm -hmm. Irún, Spain. Um, so we're going to go in there and we're going to start our Camino de Santiago. We're going to check into an albergue, which is kind of like a hostel. Um, I've never stayed in one before. It's like a hostel for pilgrims. We're going to get our credentials and then we're going to stay our first night. And then the following day, we're going to head to France because it's just on the border. And, you know, we want a, a French croissant. And, uh, Maybe some baguette. Speaking of baguette, for our trip uh, tomorrow, we're not sure if, what the food situation is going to look like. So we're going to go uh, European style here with the food. And we've got a nice crusty baguette, um, sesame seeds. We've got a nice brie. We have, of course, a delicious Spanish manchego and some chorizo charcuterie that we can put on there and of course we will hack it all up with audrey's terrifying swiss army knife 
Um, and for me, I've got a little bit of mustard that I like to put on there too. Um, and of course, we'll manage to finagle some wine in there to make it even better. Or cider. Or cider. Or we had some white wines earlier, if you watched the other video, uh, on the We'll Walk for Food, you can see that we had a, uh, a delicious vino blanco. Um, it went with the spaghetti and clams and the gallosos. Mm -hmm. So good. So it was really nice. Um, I wish I could have like gotten a photo of exactly what that white wine was. It's and everywhere. <laughs> more importantly, we have our turtle areas. Yay, wine turtle. <laughs> Maybe we can make a collection of wine turtles on this, uh, on this band. <laughs> yeah. uh, only possible when you have uh, any sort of bubbling thing. In comments, let's uh, leave a name for our turtle. Yeah, what are we going to name our turtle? I like a... Uh, Is it a he or a she? I like a, you know, Testy the turtle. Testy the turtle. Maybe we can give him some big cojones. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I've got some lining to do. All right, let's. Oh, why not? Why don't we talk about our Madrid tour. city tour? Yikes. All right, so pretty much every single major city we've ever been to together, we've taken a double decker city tour bus. And they've always been fun, informative, quick way to just kind of map out the city and pick spots we want to see. Um, but. This one was the worst. It was pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a horrible tour, but compared to the others, it was on the bottom of the list. We met some cool people though. We met a nice couple from uh, New Mexico who lives outside of Dallas now. And yeah. we were surrounded by a whole bunch of French retirees and um, we know a little bit of French, so we were able to follow along. But. Uh, just listening to him talk was hilarious, and I think uh, French people are just always goofy anyway. Well, so. and the, the old French people arguing with each yeah, other, and, that and then, was so yeah. funny. Old French people arguing with each other is hilarious. <laughs> écoute, écoute! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then I had my GoPro with my telescope, and it's constantly beeping as I'm taking B-roll shots. And I'm sure I was annoying the absolute living shit out of those poor bastards. <laughs> um, it's shit show on the Madrid hop on, hop off bus. Yes. So... Uh, my favorite tour that we've been on, I think, was in Dublin for mm -hmm. Double Decker Bus Tours because mm -hmm. there was a live tour guide talking into a microphone uh, and she was hilarious. Uh, and she just gave the tour some life. And not only that, but the history was more interesting on every tour we've been to before. Not that Spanish that. history isn't interesting, they just didn't cover it. It was yeah. almost like it was written in Spanish and then translated into multiple languages, but they were it was a raw translation, so yeah. it didn't really make much sense and it was overall annoying. Yeah. Right. And the one we the first time we went on a a double decker on hop on hop off bus tour was in France and it was the same thing as this one where you plug in some earbuds and you pick your language and the recording tells you about the history. But it just wasn't that interesting. It was just talking about different buildings and how they got their names and when they were built and stuff. And like, I like architecture, but uh, I want to know about the people of Spain and of Madrid. I want to know how it came to be what it is today and what affected the culture, you know, the conflicts and stuff. Um, the London tour spoke about, you know, World War II and um, the royal family. This one barely touched on any of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, but we got to see the cool architecture of downtown Madrid. And uh, it's a Madrid is, city. overall Madrid is a beautiful city, uh, mm -hmm. really cool, um, really the vibe is awesome, people are great. I love how many trees there are, it is yeah. a very green lush city. Yeah, I'm very impressed with Madrid and uh, can't wait to come back and see it again. But yeah. we're even more excited about heading up to uh, the Basque Country even. and then over to Asturias, or I'm sorry, Cantabria first, then Asturias. And then uh, we'll see if time will allow us to get to Galicia and Santiago de Compostela. Or if we can even make it. Or 
how that even ends up, um, I guess we'll just say we're, we're looking forward to it. Yes. Uh, we had some good food. Um, some great food. We ate over by somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I, I definitely didn't like the vermouth when we tried it. Oh, yes. Yeah. We were in Tourist Central, though, so... Plaza Mayor. Yeah, yeah Plaza Mayor. Maybe if we try vermouth somewhere else on this uh, month in Spain, it'll be different um, and better. I was a fan of the vermouth, but, you know, it's hard to make me dislike something um, <laughs> boozy. But it was cold. I needed a cold drink, mm -hmm. and that's... I don't need to sit down. And Plaza Mayor was amazing, beautiful, and mm, yeah. yeah, very touristy, but uh, <clears throat> it was still, still super cool. I'm glad we ended up there. Yeah, I don't know how we ended up there. Uh, because it was around. near the uh, market, mm -hmm. uh, San Miguel Market. Okay. Yeah, that, that was crazy too. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I loved that we went there even though it oh my god the san miguel mercado was amazing churros yeah. and chocolate pinchos wine Cheese, had some cob over there charcuterie. just brilliant mm. a little overcrowded yeah if I'm you're claustrophobic not the place to be or if you just don't like crowds equally not the place to be mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Met a cool uh, African guy from Senegal. He gave me this, um, and you got your yeah. I got my leather bracelet. That was last night. That was last night. Um, Hakuma, Hakuma Matata, Matata Hakuma. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Um, yeah, and then he gave us this, but I don't like the dangly things. And I don't like that. The apparently, elephant is plastic. Elephants in the African culture are super spiritual. And where was the other little elephants we got last night? They were the same bracelets. No, didn't he give us like little miniature elephants? Oh, yeah. 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 They were also plastics. Oh, oh, cool. It's, you know, it's a symbolism. Right? Did you want like hand carved ivory elephants? Wooden ones. Yeah. Ivory? No, absolutely <laughs> not. A little piece I of I don't the want elephants to die so I could have an elephant souvenir. No, no that's, that's why you have horrible. That's why you have plastic elephants. <laughs> okay. Well, I want wooden ones. <laughs> So hard to impress this one, I tell you. It's true. It is what it is. Yeah. But the chocolate in our churros and chocolate definitely impressed me. <laughs> yeah, and you drug that around everywhere. <laughs> trying to finish that chocolate. Um, it was it was fun. It was a great day. Uh, thank you, Madrid. Day. We love Madrid. And uh, next stop, Basque Country. Mm -hmm. Salud. Salud. And buenas noches. See you in our next Wine and Wine. Uh -huh.